Yeah, that'll be really good. What time? Evening time? Uh, I guess. Late afternoon? Yeah, Late yeah, evening. yeah. You know when you're on holiday, it's like time doesn't exist for you because you're not in your routine. You're in your routine, so I'm trying to make it more easier for you because I can just whatever, every day is, you know. Okay. So right. just text me and I'll... Yeah, yeah. Do you remember my name, Anna? Joe. Ah, good girl. Pleasure. Lovely to meet you, alright? Let's make it happen. Pleasure. Thank you. Bye. See you Saturday, alright? Yeah. Pleasure. Thank you. Bye. In this video, I want to share something with you. I think it's going to really help you. I think it's going to, um, it's going to give you a good wake-up call. In this video, I want to talk about why it's okay to be a nice guy. I want to talk about why it's okay to be a nice guy. And being a nice guy will get you a lot further in life uh, than be it. <laughs> Than being a bad boy or a bad person. Now, just bear with me before you start punching the screen and just hear me out and let me explain my version of a nice guy. And let me align this to building new relationships uh, with people, with other men. Make sure it look cool. A little casual, a little casual. All right. Ah, <gasps> come on. Uh... <laughs> of course, and I was a good, I was born a nice person, I was a nice guy. As, as God said, all men are born equal, I had a good upbringing, my family were lovely to me, my mum was a lovely mum, beautiful, the best mum in the world, every boy's going to say, I love my mum, my nan, my aunties, even though my dad was tough on me, I didn't like that he bullied me a bit, he was very, he was a good man, so it was a bit of a contradiction my dad, but I had a good family, I have no excuses, so, but when I went to school, my school was tough. Now, I don't like making excuses, but it was hard to get an education in my school because I was afraid of being robbed. In my school, you can get robbed just from walking down the corridor, just walking down doing nothing. You go, hey, hey, come here, give me your money. And if you didn't give it, you, they'd beat the shit out of you. And if you didn't know anyone in school, you were, you were fucked at the time. So I had to go through it. So I understand that, I understand that language that you can't be nice, Johnny. You know, I don't, because people said to me, one guy said to me before, all right, Johnny, your philosophy sounds a bit too uh, far-fetched for me about love and stuff. And you just can't trust anyone, Johnny, in this one. And I know exactly how you feel, because that's how I lived, I lived with that every day. It caused me to have social anxiety. I was afraid if someone criticised me, I'm going to punch them. And I, that, I know that sounds, that sounds horrible. And, and my mum was frightened, because my mum knew what I was like. She loved me a lot, but she knew that. My mum was frightened to go out shopping with me in case someone got in the way, because I was violent. I would react only because I was frightened. I wasn't a bad person. I didn't, under, I didn't have the awareness that I do now even though my mum taught me that because when I went to, and then when I went to school when I did fight I got rewarded I got called and like you know all the, all the black kids all the white kids all the Asian kids they love me they say ah oh, Johnny don't mess around with Johnny he'll, he'll, he's a crazy he'll fuck you up he's crazy and I was like oh wow I'm, oh, I'm being loved because I was, was a kid I was young at school that, that was my way of un interpreting love and I've said it before we're all after love that's what we want that's what we want to connect to so I totally understand when you say that and I understand why in pickup community men align this to women because you say well I've tried being a nice guy Johnny I took her out for dinner, I was nice, I took care of her, and then she put me in the friend zone. She put me in the friend zone, and she goes and, um, she goes and fucks another guy. And he's an arsehole, Johnny. If you see the way this guy treats women, I know. I understand, because I've been both of those guys. I've been the guy that took women out for dinner and got a peck on the cheek, come home thinking, what, what's going on? And, and, and I had to put some porn on and have a wank at the time, and just feeling depressed and feeling like women don't like me. Then I've gone into the extreme of being the arsehole, I've been a bit horrible and I have to apologise for it and I know I'm paying the price anyway. God is not going to let me get away with that and I've already suffered that, believe me, I've changed now. And been a bit too cruel to women and, and been overly domineering and just been a horrible person, really horrible. So I understand what you mean. So when I say nice man, what I mean is the guy in the middle, the guy who you really are, congruent, the man who's aligned. So I'm going to make something that's going to make you think a little bit more and just challenge you a little bit. Think of, um, I don't know, I'm, I'm trying to get the word, oh God, I'm getting passionate. Think of some celebrities or some people that are really good people and think of the way, the way they treat people. And I guarantee you'll say, He's, I, met, I met this celebrity or I met this, my favorite musician and he was such a nice person. You see, he was such a nice man, person. One of my friends said to me, I met one of my idols, um, he was a rock star and he goes, he was such a nice person. You would never think he was famous. 
because he was just a normal person, he was vulnerable. He's comfortable. You're not comfortable in yourself, you're not comfortable being nice, you don't trust yourself. I didn't trust myself. I didn't trust myself. So I had to put on an act to protect myself. So the act was being violent, being, being, uh, being assuming. Body, my body, I've said it before, when I was with my mum, I was with my nan, or my aunties, I would be relaxed. I would just be really, really chilled. I'd have to be confident. When I'd, when I'd meet other men, I would change, my whole persona would change. Yeah, well, nice to meet you. That's, how, and that's, not who, that's not who I was, and that's not who they were as well. I said it about my video when I spoke and I was passionate about my delivering a fright and oh, I forgot to be, I'll put a link to it anyway, it's going to inspire you. So, you have to really get down, we have to be, we have to, let's philosophize through it. We have to get down to what is nice, what is bad. Because if you think that being horrible to people to protect yourself, it's not going to make you feel good. That's, that's what insecure people do. And women are not, women can sense this, and it's not women's fault. And I'm not blaming men either. I'm not saying it's women's fault or men's fault. It's the individual's fault. So bear with me. Stay on me of my journey, right? So when I made this transition start to be an arsehole, I did get laid. So, so I, know it's, I know it works. I did get laid. I did start sleeping with different women. They didn't make me happy because I met the wrong women. I started attracting women that got problems that are damaged like myself. That, that can't be trusted. Because I don't trust myself. They don't trust me. The relationship is built on no trust. It's, it's a, the exchange of love is not pure. It's not good. So, yes it works, but it doesn't mean it's right. It works to be a drug dealer and make money, because I did that when I was younger. Does it make it right? Does it make you happy? No, it doesn't. It makes you more fearful. It makes you, you just feel disgusting. And I'm not judging any drug dealers, because I was drug dealing myself, so I'm not judging you. I'm just saying, I'm making a point of what I've learned up to now, what works better in the world. It, it's better to be nicer. But the nicer you're talking about is a different version of what I'm talking about. Now, if you met me now, you'd say, fucking hell, Johnny's such a nice person. I guarantee you wouldn't say, He's a weak man, you wouldn't say that, you couldn't say that. You'd, you'd just feel, and I'm not being arrogant when I say this, you'd feel how strong I am, but you'd also feel how vulnerable I am. You'd feel I'm, I'm, I'm a normal person, I'm vulnerable as well. But I'm strong in a different frequency, a different place, different energy, as I was before. You wouldn't, as I said in my video, you would not want to hang out with me years ago, unless you were violent, you wouldn't be able to trust me. So, you really have to ask yourself this question. We have to ask ourselves as men, especially in the pickup community, what is a nice guy, what is a bad boy? Because a person who's a person, think that, a person who's secure in themselves and confident doesn't need to demonstrate nothing. Like, yeah, I demonstrate videos on my channel because I'm a coach and I feel I should, you need to show proof. There's too much talking going on. But when I meet people socially, I don't go, oh yeah, you, you, know, I'm joining, you know I've got a YouTube channel, right? You know, I'm a, I don't say that stuff. I don't say all that stuff. I wouldn't feel comfortable. I'd feel like an idiot. And only when people ask me what you do, and even then I just say, I love my work, I'm a life coach, I work with guys that have got anxiety and I help them to build a confidence with women. Of course they're going to ask me more, but I don't have to say that. Now I'm not being arrogant, if I meet women or women around me, they know that I'm good with women. Women can sense that if a man's good or not, they can see I'm a nice person, they can feel that I'm full of love. I'm not saying I'm perfect, because you can also probably, you'll probably see it in some of my videos, you'll see that I've been through a lot. It doesn't mean I don't struggle still, because I do struggle sometimes, but I like who I am, people can feel it, and that's why I've got... A massive social circle. My social circle is you right now. You're part of my social circle. You're watching my videos. And I've literally got a group called Johnny Bell Social. But you're part of my, you're part of my world. I've created, I've created this reality because I had to change over. I had to change stations because that station didn't work for me. Now I haven't, had a, I haven't had a violent fight in over five years. Maybe it's four. Maybe it's five. It's been a long time. I don't handle violence. I just, I, I refuse it. I'm not doing it. So, a congruent man Confident man, vulnerable, honest, confident, don't need to be horrible. Do you know how many times I go out? Quite a lot. I might be at a bar somewhere, I might be somewhere. And the guy doesn't know who I am. I might be trying to go for a girl, another guy will go or try and get my way. Do you know I leave him? I leave him to it. That's being a nice, strong man, abundance. Because I'm not worried about if he gets to go out. I've just got so much. Now my, my job is to find the right woman. I'm still on the search. I'll let you know when I find her. Don't worry, I'll still keep making the videos and helping you guys. So my point is... We have to identify what is a nice guy, what is a bad boy, or what is all this and that. I want to tell you something really interesting. It's really going to, it's really going to um, make your brain work. I was thinking about it the other day. I haven't told anyone this. I'm sharing a secret with you guys because I love you guys. I was thinking to myself, you know what? Fucking hell. My mum and dad were right. They said to me, just be, just be nice and meet a nice woman. you just got to be nice. But I had to go in this big circle to work out what nice was. I basically had to find out who I was. And like my mentor would say, I had to find out who I wasn't. And I wasn't this horrible, violent person that was horrible to women to feel better. But that's not to say that, not to establish boundaries. Because as much as I'm a nice guy, I am a nice guy, but I've got boundaries. So I was on a date with a girl a few weeks ago, checking on this story. She was a lovely person, absolutely beautiful Russian girl. I mean, stunning. Just like, 
break, break your heart, beautiful angel. And um, she was a lovely person, but during the day of two hours, I realized she's not right for me. I'm not right for her, but that's okay. And I said to her, she said to me something like, I don't do one night stands. I said, well, I'm not interested in one night stand. I just said to her, I've done that when I was younger. I've fucked around a lot and I'm, I'm looking for something a bit more meaningful. So I'm not after that. If I said, if I sleep with you, I'd want to see you more because I care about you. She was taken back. That's the truth because I'm a nice person. I speak my mind. So nice guy in the classic sense, in a stereotypical sense, a nice guy that's portrayed on the American films, he doesn't speak his mind. He doesn't, even know, he doesn't even know who his mind is. He doesn't know who he is. The bad guy in the other sense, He's massively insecure. He's projecting what he thinks he needs to be to keep love, to stay in love. He's, he's frightened of being abandoned. Eventually that's going to fall apart. He's not happy inside. So I'm happy on the inside, projects on the outside. That's what I'm teaching you guys. So you have to go into the circle and it's about being yourself. And you're going to say to me, but I don't want to be myself. That doesn't work. That's the problem. You've got to work on being yourself. I don't even need to tell you what you need to do to be yourself. You already know that. Don't fucking bullshit me, you already know it. You know that that probably involves investing some money and getting a mentor like myself or anyone that can help you in this area. Or that involves you challenging your insecurities. That involves you being yourself and, and facing fear, feeling uncomfortable. So that's what my journey was about. My journey was about the man that, that didn't trust himself, that was uncomfortable in the world, that was uncomfortable with people because I've been abused, I was fucking violently treated and mistreated and, uh, and I blamed people and I felt sorry for myself too long, played victim. As they say in psychology, it helps your ego, your ego likes feeling on that. I decided enough is enough, stop blaming everyone, let me take responsibility for this body, this person, this mind, let me go get this sorted out as quick as I can. So you're the problem, you are the problem. I feel like I'm speaking to my old self here, I probably am, in helping you. You're the problem. You can be nice, you can be nice, but you need to love yourself. If you don't love yourself, you can't be nice. So you work towards doing it. The way I did it was, it's a long story, but it was so worth it, and you can do it very quick. I help guys to do it six weeks on my six-week transformation program. Some guys just need two days on my boot camp. Some guys need two hours of me just for me to point out where they need to do, where they're going wrong, where they, or sometimes where they're going right. So, nice guy does work. I made a joke to my mate. My mate said to me the other day, and I, I don't consider myself pickup artist. In fact, I'm not. I'm a life coach. I teach men how to attract women honestly. He said to me, you're the nice guy I pick up. I went, thank you very much. He went, I don't mean to offend you. I said, you're not. I said, it's the best comment I've ever had because I'm so pleased that you see me in that way because that's how I feel. I'm not saying I'm the nicest guy in the pickup community because I'm, I'm just not part of the pickup community. I'm, just, I'm part of the world. I'm an individual. But I'm just saying, do you understand what I'm getting at? And you probably won't understand me if you don't get out and do this. It'll make no sense to you. So just, I won't be offended if you get angry at this video. I couldn't frankly give a shit if you get angry at the video because I really want to help you. Because in helping you, it, it, it will make me feel good. And that's why I do it. Selfishly makes me feel good. I want to help you. I know what it feels like to not be able to trust your own emotions and to feel that I can't be nice, this woman's going to take advantage of me. And women know this, they, they don't even know it, they know it logically, they know it emotionally, they're very emotional. And then it comes back with guys. So men that are violent or unhappy, they're trying to reach out for love, but they do it in a, in a way that's violent. And you don't really want to do that, I know because I don't want to do it, I don't want to, I don't want to go bang and knock someone out and then people come out, oh great I want to be your friend because you're really good at knocking me out. That's a horrible place to be at, I'm not in that place no more. Some people say, Oh, mate, Johnny's a really lovely guy. That's it. Just, it just, you demonstrate your value just, just, just being in the present moment. But I know it's not as easy as that. I do understand, but it is easy. So, the nice guy does work. You know what a nice guy done? Let me share something with you because I really want to care about, want to help. You know what a nice guy done for me? It grew me a fucking online business. May you guys be part of my reality. It changed my, changed my fashion. Because I wouldn't have dressed like this years ago. I'd say, this is what this is. How, this is how soft guys dress. This is a posh guy. He's too nice, and that's obviously not true. So, don't need to be a nice guy in the classic sense. Don't need to be a bad boy. The bad boy is in just as a worse place as a nice guy. You don't be any of them. You be yourself. You be the congruent version. Then you don't have to worry about all this stuff. You don't have to worry about your body language. I'm not worried. I'm not worried about my body language. When I do this camera now. I couldn't give a toss. I just speak from the heart. I know who I am. I know what I'm putting out. It's going to help and heal people. All right. We're always going to have critics, but it just doesn't matter. So you're going to meet the right woman when you start aligning to who you are and being open and being yourself. It's about being yourself. That's what women are attracted to. I found out my 11 years research. I was like, what the, what the fuck do these women want? What works on women? I don't want to lie to them. I just want to be myself. I'm a nice, I, I want to love them. I'm a nice person. That's how probably you're feeling. Don't listen to society. Most of it's wrong. We are society. I am society. You are society. Change it. Don't listen to the pickup community because it might be wrong. Have you ever thought about that? Might be right, might be wrong, it was wrong for me, but I had to go in and try all this stuff. 
So the nice guy does work in, in the sense I'm talking. And you know that the person is. That's the person that you might tap into them for an hour each day with your family and they go, oh, I'm not being too long. That's how I felt. Like and subscribe. Enjoy the process. Just have a think about it. Think about being a nice guy. What that means. How strong, how much spiritual strength that takes. And how much difference that will make to your reality. I promise you, I've gone through this transformation myself and I've seen so many people. And I'll ask you again before I leave this video. Look at your role models. The way they, look at Muhammad Ali, how Muhammad Ali used to treat people. Look at Rocky Marciano. Look at people like Ricky Hatton. Like, like, an animal, yeah, in the ring, that's his profession. Look how he's a gentleman. He's a normal laddie. I have a beer with everyone. He took, that's why we like Ricky Hatton. That's why I liked him anyway. Manny, look at Manny Pacquiao, how he treats people. Look at the power he's got in the bag. He can take your head off. Do you think he behaves like that out in public with his wife? No, he doesn't. He's a nice person, man of God. There you go, rest my case. Nice guy does work. You got it all wrong, you got it all twisted. Look at the bad, where does the bad guy end up? In drugs, in prison, dead. I rest my case. Enjoy the process. Thanks for listening.